Hello and welcome back to Missing in Action. And when we last left off, it would appear that our other ego started to become a pretty disillusion with the war effort, but also alienated with the people at home. So for now, we have signed up for another stand. And the first two missions were already pretty difficult, weren't they, my friends? So then hopefully we can perform a little bit better today. Although I keep saying this every single introduction, don't I? But then again, the difficulty keeps increasing. So hopefully I can warm up in this recording session to perform according to our wishes. And of course, we dropped off some seals, which means, of course, we also got. Pressured into working for the CIA, and in case something goes wrong, uh, these things never happened, of course. Yeah, that's always something to look forward to, right? Uh, operating outside the usual jurisdiction. But for now, we need to extract our seals from the lovely little mountains of Laos, I guess, probably. Now well, we find out pretty soon, won't we? If I can hear it, essentially. <laughs> There's still a question of my men. These cats are on the wire with the NVA up their ass. I want them out of there, and you speak to the brass. This is the Navy show. Just ensure they get the job done, or it's your ass. Why don't you use Captain Man? Why did we agree to this again? Firebird, this is Rapid Dagger. We've got a job for you to do. Come in. Over. Of course, it has the pawn in the bigger picture as is customary for us. No wonder we had the solution with the war effort, right? Okay, we're still in Laos and nothing happened. If we get shot down, uh, I suppose our body is unrecoverable and everything would be put under the carpet, of course. Okay, so locate and pick up our Navy SEALs and as a reminder, they dropped themselves off in two man teams in this uh, area absolutely crawling with uh, dudes. Okay, um, fantastic. So support is directed. But we don't have any support, so we have to use our door gunners again. Yeah, the enemy is everywhere, or the enemy are everywhere, whatever. It's just a grammar thing, isn't it? Okay, good luck, and if everything goes wrong, it's all on us. Of course it would be. But let's see what we can do, and hopefully it's not a night engagement because I'm unable to see anything. We don't have any flares, so probably it will not be right. Well, I'm not sure what they did down there anyhow with two men teams. I have no idea, frankly. Firebird 1, this is Popeye 1. Requesting immediate evac at grid one four five five three six five two three eight eight seven nine. -er. Can you see my marker? Over. Now the clear. Yes, Popeye can see it. We're on our way. Over. Yeah, get on this helicopter, please. Welcome back, Sergeant. Okay, flyboy. We got a job to finish. There's two VC camps. The first is at one five five four zero. By two, one, zero, zero, one, zero. Yeah, okay, so I got it, sir. We need to blast some stuff. Okay, we do have some red flares, but where's the uh, sixth member of your team? I have no idea. Yeah, I can barely see the uh, important uh, items on the minimap, but I suppose we just start blasting here. It's evidently marked as uh, yellow. Yeah, no people just firing with the M16s, <laughs> I believe, right? <laughs> I don't think they do. Okay, we don't have a lot of ammo, but hopefully it's good enough to take care of uh, what we need to take care of down below. Obviously, of course, we're in Laos. And we're not in the war with Laos, right? This is an incursion, technically speaking. Yeah, the entire area is absolutely crawling with these dudes. Okay, what happened to your sixth team member there? Probably got killed somewhere, why didn't he? Okay, this could boom pretty easily. I'm not sure what they're storing inside, but then of course the Hoshi Mean Trail was also uh, going for Laos. So, which is why we're here, I would suppose. It's inconvenient not having front facing weapons if I lose them myself. Ja, der Attack ist das Westing Ammo für das M16, because wow, we have a strange Arcs of Fire. Okay, we need to blow up 100% uh, of the camp, otherwise, uh, wow, uh, what's the point of him being here? Okay, aber Kerling brought the dudes, so only about these huts, sir. Huh? Not quite sure. Okay, 92%. Got it, sir. Whatever it was, it was explosive. I think I like it. Okay, so I can see it now, but usually uh, these are marked with a yellow indicator, not a big red one, right? So what's the change of um, the game mechanics? Also in the previous mission, our commander's not showing up as blue on the minimap. 
That's very confusing, which is why I struggle with the last mission incidentally. Uh, that's inconsistent game design, which shouldn't be the case. Okay, so that camp is probably heavily defended, I would think. Probably. And we better start blasting. Oh, uh, maybe with some of us who grenade launcher there, that would explain the boom booms, because uh, our, yeah, our uh, machine gun probably isn't the culprit for this. Wow. Okay. Okay, 11%, so we need to destroy all these huts, of course, and manage to survive, at least it's only, um, well, assault rifle fire for the most part, why it's, it's not too damaging to a helicopter, but it's also an armed as reminder, so... <laughs> Ja, yeah, okay, ja, yeah, hier ist Shooting Grenades, I believe. If it's M79, <laughs> because I it is, otherwise it would not be bad portable, especially if it opens itself off into this horrible war zone here. They had LB lines within two my teams. So apparently we only lost one guy someplace, I guess it's something. I don't know if it happened last episode, I was just, yeah, because you have the scripting, who knows. Okay, we need to keep it steady for the Ramp the Grenade Launcher, I guess, right, probably. Also would be that easy, of course. Since ammo that I don't have to worry about. Okay, this has been destroyed, thank for the All units! All units! This is Popeye 5! Does anyone copy? Damn, Slater! Popeye 5, this is Popeye 1! Where the hell are you, man? Over! I hold up at a village at grid 210051-145. Yeah, mark it on the map, sir. Over. Hang on there, buddy. We're coming to get you. Over. Yeah, but I can't see it right now. Nothing changed on the minimap incident. There. Yeah, he sold up in the village someplace, but of course it's our primary mission objective. But I was wondering about the sixth guy. No ammo, sir. Oh, 40. Really? Okay, that must have been the grenade launcher then, presumably. Well, I have no control over that thing, so I guess I guess. I'm not sure about the village, can't see it anywhere, it's not marked, so we take care of one objective first and hope it will take care of the other one afterwards. Yeah, Laos is pretty mountainous, isn't it? I'm not sure how we can even drive through here with these vehicles. Okay, there we go, so the grenade launch is empty, but only on the right side, I guess. Didn't quite get to hear it, sorry. <laughs> the gun started to blast away here. Also, the grenade launcher accidentally. Okay, almost 50%. It's a bit hard to uh, hit some of these installations here naturally. Was this on a slope? It does make a difference here, naturally. <laughs> At least in this game. Okay, 52%. Yeah, it's uh, very hard to get a beat on this here. Okay, use your grenades there, sir, please. Yeah, we're out of here, so where's that guy? Yeah, we want to pick him up, of course. I don't see anything. Uh, we didn't identify a village, did we, though? Well, that cannot be the village. It, oh, yeah, it's actually marked. Okay, so, well, then we have this available as well. Let's just try to touch down on this uh, steep slope here. Come on, get a move on, sir. Well, usually they come running. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, it's a miracle all of you survive, frankly. Absolute miracle. Okay, I think um, we have to uh, track to the north, east, there's some place to get back to. Yeah, good old. <laughs> yeah, Vietnam.
Well, we did a number on the Viet Cong around here, which is at least something, I suppose. Okay, so I think it's everything taken care of, so we can return back to base. Well done, man. Return to base with the SEAL teams. Sergeant there? Sure am, Preacher One. You got a fine soldier here. He's the hottest pilot I ever scraped with. Maybe there's a battle in store for us. Oh, unfortunately not, but we uh, extracted all the seals, which is nice. Yeah, but only for the CIA, right? <laughs> Great, fantastic. Of course, we just pawn and create their pictures, but I guess I guess. Despite all the encouragement, just deceiving us, we know how the CIA operates. Okay, so well, uh, apparently there's still plenty of VC in the area, so maybe well, we had a job to do, especially in host territory. No, also in uh, combat operation. I'm not flying around here to take care of everything. Forget about that. Congratulations, Captain. You did us proud. Thank you, sir. You know, I'm not quite sure that was my mission, sir. Yeah, they sure are demanding mothers. And that's why they're the best. Is that the guy? Talking of the best, or... Yeah, that's him. ...or the worst. I'd like you to meet Howie Cedar. He's putting together a little entertainment for the boys. And I, uh, excuse me, I uh, guarantee it's entertainment you're gonna like. Oh, really? What do you got planned? The checkers match? No, 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 this is top secret, top secret. Strictly under wraps to you, Captain. These guys know what I mean. Now, hey, you know, it sure is swell to meet a living legend like you, Captain. I've heard a lot about you. Oh, really? How much? Relax, Captain. Yeah, you're not as obscure as you think. Have you ever thought about writing a book? Could be a bestseller. Hey, lay off, Howie. You know the Captain can't reveal details of his operation. Hey, what? Excuse us. What? Sorry. Did we get ourselves Hey, Captain, like, uh, don't forget, sign copy now, huh? Sign copy! Later, Howie. Hey, don't push. Where'd you dig up that bozo? Forest lawns? Hey, listen in. We need to plan a strike. We have to take out supply routes that are running from Laos to Vietnam. Hit them hard. You won't be very popular, so expect some hardcore resistance. That's the look of despair and hopelessness. Okay, Ego Strike, so it's still um, outside the usual jurisdiction, I would suppose. Even though I didn't get to hear because I was too quiet again. <laughs> okay, um, destroy some supply convoys before they escape eastwards of the mission zone, of course. Okay, we do have some support, so maybe it's not artificial. So we're back in our old gunship. Well, I cannot wait to get the more uh, nimble aircraft, frankly. Okay, so it will be super tough. I would presume they said as much. I heard that at least. So, uh, that means heavy resistance everywhere, essentially. Okay, and it's a race against the supply convoys. Mm hmm fantastic. Okay, red flares for airstrikes and green flares... Uh, oh no, okay, these are our buddies and this is the airstrikes. So, we're using this against stationary targets, of course. At least, I presume. I think every single mission we have been seeing in the Thai campaign has been declared confidential. In <laughs> very early on, I think. Firebird 1, this is Breacher 1. Seek and destroy VC convoys. Take them out, Captain. Show no mercy over. Copy that. Show no I'll mercy over, okay. Quick, sir. There's the first convoy. Don't let it escape. Sir, there's Depot 2. It's the target list. Destroy! Destroy! Okay, well, I see them. At least a couple of them. But they've upgraded their defense, evidently. They are not using uh, our heavy ordnance. We have a uh, six and a tank rockets that could be useful later on. Yeah, okay, just a couple of trucks. Can you please take them out? It shouldn't take too much ammo here, really. Concentrate machine gun fire should be plenty for this. Okay, this is a little bit tough opposition there, presumably. This thing handles like shit once more. Yeah, should have burst it, that's that right. Okay, we can take out at least some trucks, maybe? I mean, what does it take? <laughs> Okay, one knocked out. Okay, hopefully there aren't too many of them. These are evidently light tanks. How did we fucking miss that again? Unbelievable. Okay, we um, are dog on here. Make yourself useful. Please, come on. I thought these are locking 
quantity aren't. <laughs> it's going on any longer. Okay, so we already wasted so much quantum ammo. Okay, please, lock on this fucking flesh. <laughs> Man, come on, shoot this fucking thing already. That's a take. For fuck's sake. Okay, so... Okay, so uh, apparently we're not locking on at least not too often, so we can already retry this mission because these things here. Yeah, there we go. So... <laughs> What do we have? These uh, guided missiles for if they are completely useless. How can they possibly be so finicky? That's fucking bullshit, man. Unbelievable. Okay, so, well, um, fantastic. We have six of those fucking things and I keep missing with five of them. That's always a good start. It's a, a fantastic start, as a matter of fact. Good, good, good. Good, fantastic. Well, we do have gunships, but they're just hovering around here. They're not doing anything productive. So, what gives I guess? Maybe they can take care of the uh, tanks for us. That could be a good idea, presumably. Yeah, if only our fucking helicopter wasn't moving like a slug, right? That would be a good start, presumably. Okay, make yourself useful over here because we have plenty of these idiots in the area. Yeah, there we go. Maybe you can take care of some of them, it would be great. Or you just uh, take care of the wrong vehicles, could also be. Okay, I have to hover here to get the lock on, apparently. There we go, that should lock on. Okay, multiple targets destroyed. I think I take it. Okay, next in the line here is you, my friend, maybe. Also the uh, rear vehicle. Oh, not this. Come on. <laughs> Nope, didn't take it out. Fantastic. That's that. That's great. I have to hope that these fucking grenades can take out some targets here. Some trucks. These are unarmored trucks. Also, my unarmored trucks. It's super difficult to take them out. Okay, come up the entire area with grenades. Come up the entire area with fucking grenades. Then get going. Okay, that's good. I see more uh, convoys moving there. Okay, let's just see what we can do about that. Shall we do? This thing is absolutely pathetic. <laughs> okay, convoy is 20 out of 30. And we see units is almost 50. Okay, over here somewhere. Yeah, they need to help out. I cannot take care of all of them. I don't have the ammo for that incidentally. Okay, here they come. Let's just get our helicopters over here. Yeah, the same with the lead vehicle or lock into the wrong one incidentally. Not that matter anyway, now we're out of ammo. Okay. Yeah, can be used concentrated uh, uh, grenade fire here to take out some of these... <laughs> these armored vehicles. Where's our helicopters, man? Get your fucking asses over here. Okay, taking tons of damage. I mean... On. Just try this fucking thing. Oh, leave this to take it. Maybe impervious, actually. Yeah, I think it may be impervious, right? Okay, so our friends no longer have out because they're out of ammo. I mean, what can I do? I only have six, uh, six <laughs> guided missiles, and this thing just doesn't go down. And I'm taking tons of damage, as a matter of fact, I'm being almost shot down. Okay, is it finally down? Fantastic. Okay, this, uh, at least at least don't fire back, right? Sit down, no, just the drop around some wreckage, of course, not a light tank. Okay, our helicopter is in bad shape, man. This fucking thing is the big corner here. Drei tilt, no damage. Okay, now it's down. Ja, yeah, fantastic. Fantastic. Well, we have some airstrikes from Manicam. Please log on to the truck there. That would be great. Okay, targets destroyed. Okay, fantastic. And now we need to take care of another 50 or so percent of VC units. And over here we have some... Uh, okay, I do see some... Uh, yellow stuff still. So what is it now? <laughs> we can take much more damage, of course. We'll talk about these A-guns, I would figure. Some huts, who knows? Okay, I think our helicopter friends have run out entirely out of ammo, which is not helping out any longer. Good, good, good. 
Okay, so I think this has been blasted. So let's see what's going on over here. <laughs> We're dodging some fire in the meantime. Okay, so we're dropping ourselves right into the main concentration of enemy forces. That's always good. Yeah, 40% whole integrity, roughly speaking. Okay, so our friends have passed off because they ran out of ammo, I guess. Seems pretty likely. Who is blasting here? I know there's something in here. Oh, lovely light fucking thing. I can't do anything about it. I'm, I'm completely and utterly helpless against that thing. This thing doesn't uh, gain altitude very well either, you know, for that matter. Yeah, there's nothing we can do about these things. Absolutely nothing. So let's just try to call in. Yeah, get the airstrike in here, please. Come on. Oh, okay. So, well, fantastic. I think we are getting out of here sooner than later. That seems like a good idea because the helicopter has no ammo and there is opposition everywhere. Opposition is a matter of fact we cannot handle. Ja, yeah, okay, we do have a one red flare remaining, but our friends are not doing anything, so it gives, I guess. Okay, so it was a hairy situation, but we managed to do it after all, so I think we are quite satisfied with that, aren't we? Almost got shot down again. Sir, there are some PC camps too south of our position, sir. Yeah, well, but we don't care, of course. <laughs> Come in, Preacher One. I successfully destroyed target list and I'm returning to base. Over. Good work, Captain. Yeah, get the Super medics ready. Also the mechanics. They can patch these sparrow holes. Okay, so, um, we destroyed all targets, that was our list, and we did exactly that and nothing more, right? And it was a true victory, and all thanks to us. Um, that's the kind of action we would like to see, but maybe next time around, uh, send uh, some friends with more ammo than that, you know. Okay, so, um, apparently we killed some civilians along the way. Sorry, I didn't see any civilians whatsoever, and our efficiency rating was 54%, and the target is 95, of course. Well, what am I supposed to do? I have a f five, no, six guided missiles. And these are not very reliable, and it was incidentally the very first time we got them, so... <laughs> okay. Uh, but overall, I think it was still relatively satisfying. Come join the party. I want to introduce you to some very special VIPs. Hey, Captain, good to see ya! Like I said, our show's gonna be the biggest... Have we, have we the worked with professionals half of the time? Aren't they great, huh? Aren't they great? Hey, what Captain, did they actually hate, mate? A real soldier. Oh, Captain, I hear you're a real high flyer. Mm. Pussy, meet the Captain. Captain, meet Pussy. Mm. <laughs> this... Graceful. I tell you, you gotta see these girls and the rest of the troop d d dance. <laughs> I'd sure like to. You may not see the show, Captain, but you've been selected to lift these ladies and Howie to meet a convoy of VIPs. And you gotta be real careful with us, otherwise they're gonna be a lot of disappointed soldiers. <laughs> yeah, keep your eyes open. It should be clear, but we haven't flown that sector in a long time. Didn't think I would say that, but I do believe I actually missed Todd Harrison. He was unhinged, but at least, well, he wasn't completely unhinged still, but, uh, he did have his faults, he did have his rough edges, and he wasn't very professional, but still better than working with these CIA goons, really. These are even slimier, a lot slimier even. Okay, so, uh, what is it all about now? A Playboy Escort, really? <laughs> We're escorting these fat people and their ladies into some other place, but isn't that lovely? We need to fly close and give maximum support, okay. Haha, <laughs> it really is about these fucking ladies. But in the actual heck, well, I know these people were sleazy, especially in the Nixon era. You know? <laughs> but okay. It is disgraceful. It is fucking disgraceful. Fucking disgraceful. Okay, so while well, we have to. Are you telling me? This is the mission objective. These fucking ladies and this drunk uh, guy also high on coke. That's really why we're doing this. With all, with, with all this ordinance, like millions of dollars in uh, 1960s money, you know, never mind inflation. And that's what we're using it for. For this fucking bullshit. Unbelievable. Can I resign? Firebird 
visual contact with APC convoy. We'll escort the base over. Copy that, Fireman. You take good care of those little ladies. I'm going to be myself. Wie, what? 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 Wir treiben ihn von Ambush Zone in den APC? Are you fucking kill me with this? With some... Who oh, oh, fucking cares? Get the helicopter in here if you want to fuck this lady so bad. It's so disgraceful. So fucking disgraceful. Ah, yeah, of course, of course. <laughs> you have some armor back here between us with the fucking armor. Unbelievable. Why the driving through here? Why? Why the actual fuck? <sighs> right past the enemy encampment. Do I see it correctly? What? <laughs> That makes no sense. It's not where I can even destroy all this shit quickly enough. Can I do? No, I don't think I can. So. <laughs> I'm drawing all the fucking fire, but it doesn't matter why. Right. It's okay. APC is about. Uh, this is a little bit uh, sturdy. But okay. It's like. No way! Fucking drunk? Sure. Yeah, we go to for one. I think that's something. Okay, we're doing this. Are you fucking kidding me with this? Like, seriously? <laughs> Can I believe this? I just cannot believe this. I'm a complete and utter disbelief here. Okay, and what else is fucking blasting? Okay, these people are shooting at something. Okay, well, that's. Okay, wow, well, that's at least uh, something of favor. I'm sure there was a civilian in here, why? But it doesn't matter, we get these fuck toys in the base because it's super important, of course. And also the reason black of coke. Priorities here, right? And it's for effort. Can't use it any longer because the vehicle is too close already. Well, great. Of course, you're driving. How do you even have the means to protect all this uh, uh, firepower here? <laughs> what the what the actual heck? Can barely uh, differentiate between uh, hostiles and friendlies back here. I then people keep blasting it. Also, okay, uh, they're down 70%. I mean, what the actual fuck is that bullshit back here? Okay, it's oh, we did. I just, yeah, that's good, but okay. <laughs> Uh, that I start blasting in US encampment so we can do this fucking shitty mission yet again. That's unbelievable. Unbelievable. I didn't kill any US units, but evidently I'm just uh, bombarding this, why didn't I? Are you fucking kidding me if this it is actually true? I still cannot believe this. What is this bullshit? They're driving right past the VC camp and all the. There's so much armor in the way. That's unbelievable. And I have six fucking guided missiles. <laughs> What is this bullshit? Makes no sense. And they're using these M uh, 113s here, really? These are terrible. They were terrible in the Vietnam War. Oh. At least I didn't see any ambushers, so we need to keep very close to this set. Well, fuck that shit here. That's fuck that bullshit.
cannot believe you're doing this. I simply can't believe it. <laughs> Yeah, of course, our grenades don't do that much damage anyway. Oh, I cannot use all these grenades. Can I throw? It's also a problem. But as you can see, these things are underwhelming to say the least. So, uh, okay. No fucking way, deal with your own problems there, idiots. Deal with your fucking own problems. Is there so much fucking armor the way anyhow? I don't understand, frankly. <laughs> How's that house that fucking fix to attack? Get over here. The high caliber machine guns, but as you can see, it doesn't matter because it's a armored vehicle. No rockets, sir. Yeah, thanks for the reminder, pal. At least you're doing your job right. With a smile in your face, I'm hoping. Okay, well, um, anything else? Well, at least we knocked out the camp, but we didn't even destroy everything because our grenades are a joke, apparently. It's obviously the light. Yeah, it's still intact, why? Because these grenades are not designed to be used against armored vehicles, even if it's only BTR 50. Don't inflict any damage, you don't inflict any damage. Oh, there we go, took way more effort than uh, realistically expected. But of course, it's an armored vehicle, if using fragmentation grenades, I would figure. Strafe our friends by accident. Thank you very much. Okay, is so it finding all of them? No, of course not. This right back here. <laughs> we want to actually we are failing this mission anyway because well, uh, they take too much damage. I think so. What else is in the area? Okay, they have the type perimeter and attack as well. Of course they do. Okay, get these fucking uh, toys in there. No pun intended. They won't be uh, in the mood anyway, right after taking all this fire here, I think. Great work, yeah, enjoy your ladies there. These cheap ass prostitutes. <laughs> what? Okay, uh, let's just move forward here. <laughs> Recont! Recont! There was some reconnaissance there. And of course, to add in so the injury, it's not even half the target score, actually. But we are by putting B. Okay, hopefully it was worth it. You spotted a few targets on your VIP flight? Yes, sir. A whole shoot match. You give me the tools and I'll do the job. I'll assign you a strike force. They won't know what's hit them, sir. The latest intel suggests that Charlie scored a whole bunch of Sams. Oh, well, that's good news. You pull this off, you get to go home to mom. It's been a pleasure. It's been a pleasure, I think he said, but I don't think it was a pleasure for us, was it, Dom? Um, okay, Massachusetts Striker, fly the gunship, fire team, to the VC camps and annihilate them. And of course, I have some Sam sites that did hear that. Okay, so we can. Oh, it's a night mission, fantastic. Okay, red flares for illumination and green for air strikes. And we get our fucking gunship again. I think it's the Shinok variety, so we can at least hold my ammo. Okay, good luck. And we need to destroy what's the target again? Probably 90%, I would figure. Okay. Now, Sam sites. I did notice while reviewing the footage uh, when we engaged the train, one Sam site uh, launched one missile, completely destroying our helicopter with one shot because it's designed to shoot down jet aircraft, I guess. I was uh, surprised I can even lock on two helicopters flying almost at ground level, incidentally. Okay, so, um. 
Oh, at least not uh, to worry about any CIA nonsense. Maybe. Of course, officially these things have happened, so they don't show up in our record, are they, though? Nope. So, this was all for nothing. Fireboard. Well, this is Breacher 1. Fly the gunship fire team over the BC villages and annihilate all resistance. Search and destroy. Search and destroy, yeah. This is Firebird 1. Copy that, Breacher 1. Search and destroy. Yeah. Okay. Fantastic. Um... I mean... Can I maybe take one look at the minimap and, uh, uh, I mean... There's literally nothing that isn't marked as uh, essential. Nothing. Essentially, we have maybe a couple of AA installations, but that's about it, frankly. Wow. Unbelievable. Okay, we have two uh, green flares for airstrikes, otherwise, uh, okay, uh, then we'll start blasting, I guess, if I can even see anything. I think we'll be super heavily armored, of course. What's that else? Yeah, I'm also ground zero. Okay, well, wow. <laughs> I mean... How many targets? I, uh, plenty is the answer. I'm not sure we have much available against armor targets in Sandy anyway. Okay, so what are we blasting with here? Oh, I'm just critical objects and to see that, but uh, I'll see with you. Okay, fantastic. Oh, well, let's just try to get to one of those, um... Uh, well, I'm not quite sure, is it, uh... Okay, it's a VC camp, of course, I see that much at least. Okay, it's actually one of our fire camps, I believe. Okay, fantastic. Why don't we try to stop at least some of the attackers, I suppose. Should probably help them out. Not by illuminating them again, presumably, but then again, it's very hard to see on the minimap if we're actually talking about some ponds or uh, we are friendlies in the area, it's almost impossible to see sometimes. And they handle themselves, well, I suppose they could use some assistance. It was fucking blasting me. <laughs> are they shooting at me? I think they may be, because I accidentally opened fire. I think it's what happened here, right? I'm not quite sure because someone was firing at me and it wasn't TV Kong for a change. Yeah, okay, uh, we uh, did a little bit better in terms of target confirmation early on in the war, but I think uh, we have maybe moved past that to a certain degree. Uh, this is Sam. No! <laughs> uh, okay. But does it, there's a Sam here someplace. We're taking some damage. Yeah, well, no kidding there, sir. So I'm not sure what the same sides, uh, well, what they look like, how easy we can identify them. Because the helicopter, well, uh, can barely outrun these missiles, evidently. Was it's a converted transport helicopter? <laughs> okay, so, um, I see plenty of friends in the area. Sounds like a job for our airstrikes, maybe. Yeah, try that, please. the effect will be satisfactory. Oh. They were of course warning us about these subsides, but then again, um, okay. But I don't think it did anything, right? It's already 70% because the time is absolutely crawling with tools everywhere. And <laughs> I hear it, but I cannot see it. But it is, I guess. I have no idea. Where they are. <laughs> I can't even see these AA installations. You know, these Sam lounges everywhere. I just cannot see them. What do they look like? This is certainly a gun and not an Abyssa launcher. And of course, we didn't even destroy the camp. Of course, we didn't. So at least half the installations are still operational, of course. So, how can I identify them at a glance? The answer is I cannot. I cannot outrun them. Memorize their positions, maybe, and hope for the best. Yeah, of course, we have these fucking PT-76s everywhere, adding to ins... Oh, okay, we can already retry this mission yet again. Yeah, okay, let's just restart the entire mission. This is hopeless cause. 
So, how can I identify the seven sides at a glance? Uh, I don't see anything being indicated anywhere else, really. Uh, okay, uh, is this is for serious here, game. I mean, uh, we have like at least 150 units on the entire map, and some of them can almost insta kill us. Uh, okay, nothing is identified, so uh, okay. And the airstrikes, as, as usual, are completely useless. They take all some parts and let's put it in, frankly. So, yeah. I don't think it's even the last mission in the chapter, incidentally, so it's getting even more difficult. How's it impossible? I mean, look at this. <laughs> Just, God damn, look at this. How's it supposed to be possible? Like, seriously. And we, of course, we cannot save, and it's probably a fucking light tank here, isn't it? Of course, a fucking light tank, of course it is. Which means they can also inflict catastrophic damage on us here. I can't see anything because it's a light mission. <laughs> How do you have the means to protect all the power? I don't think that happened with the Vietnam and the real Vietnam War. It's not this stage. Oh, oh man, of course, these are unguided. I have to fucking lead the targets and just go around like crazy. Great, that's a good start. At least you don't inflict too much damage on this. Yeah, we cannot fight because we have plenty of friends in the area. So we have to select the right type of ammo because even with a gunship, we can only carry so much ammo. And if we cannot see anything in the wilderness, how can even hit a helicopter then? If they're not dead. Man, stop doing this bullshit here. He's actually moving across the border, you know. So it gives, I guess. Okay, someone else is shooting. Yeah, it's our firebase being under attack, so we have to help out yet again, I would figure. But what's this up here? If anything. Because I cannot see it, frankly. And of course, it involves illumination, and also there's a the rest of the game crashing on us, isn't there? I think there is. <laughs> okay. Wow, 2%. That's great. Okay, they're shooting over here, I think, aren't they? It's a light attack on an US outpost, always good. I finally done, mate. Thank you very much. But there's a blasting at some point. Okay, there was some set over here someplace, but I have no idea, frankly, how can I identify these things at a glance? Flying right into that, I can keep a low profile, but then again, I'm completely blind. He's <laughs> literally blind. They may not be able to shoot that low, probably, but we don't know, of course. They can eye for that matter. Yeah, okay, well, maybe this works. Can't see anything, not a single bit here, frankly. <laughs> okay. Great, at least it didn't inflict too much damage, but we just uh, literally we ran into the Sam side, I believe. That's what happened here. Okay, so we deal with the outside disturbances first, and then we try to uh, take care of one outpost there, maybe. I mean, it's a camp, technically speaking, but you know what I mean. It's still the same to us. Of course, we have to move the target radically over the object, otherwise we can call in our airstrikes, and these are, of course, completely useless anyway. But may as well be useless here. Yeah. Okay, who's that here? idea. Hopefully we can take it out with the door gunner. Did we? No, of course we didn't. And of course they only give us how many flares and even well, just 50, right? <laughs> oh, it's not a light tank, but it looks like I just can't see anything. I have to hope that the auto lock on will be generous enough. Okay, the ad goes fantastic. So, um, that's 6% out of uh, presumably 80 or 90. <laughs> so. <laughs> and the other US camp is also under attack, I would think. Probably. I just can't see anything. And they only give us 50 flares. Yeah, I just can't see anything. I can hear them firing. How can I see my fucking helicopter if it's pitch black dark? That's something I want to know, frankly. So we're flying strictly by using the mini map. <laughs> so. Okay, these lighter ones that do go down eventually, but there's something else in the area, immediately bursting. I cannot crash into three tops at least something. Of course, dark means I don't have the horizon, so it's very hard to get lost here, of course. Ja, yeah, where the heck are we going? <laughs> Okay, over here some place. Uh, this thing's also moving, isn't it? I think it is. Yeah, there it is. 
Ähm, was ist? Okay, noch on, please. Okay. An, aber evident, so I think I take it. It's going to be a 20 minute mission, weil probably at the minimum. <laughs> okay, so what are we looking at back here? No idea. Oh, that's a, the sound of a light tank, isn't it? If I can find it. These are also painted dark green, aren't they? I think they are. So once again, I can't see anything. And these are unguided rockets, so I have to actually see the target. Oh, down below. There's two of those fucking things. <laughs> And to direct hits on our helicopter, of course, and I didn't take anyone. I can't show if they did anything. I have no idea, frankly. So we just. Oh, no, of course, of course, of course. Wow. Uh, <laughs> wow, we're also scooting at the map edge because the enemies forced us to go here. Okay, the tanks evidently are still fully operational because I can't aim for that shit because it's too dark. You get the idea. Okay, then just take care of the minor disturbances if we can find him at all. Because it's also hitting terrain, so it's even harder to hit anything. Never mind, only some sides. We are, are, are way off, but not the exact position. Okay, so uh, 10%. Great. I mean, we can store hundreds of flares in our helicopter. But we stopped it on ammo, I guess. Ja, yeah, these are still light tanks, right? Well, uh, do I want to mess with light tanks right now? That's the question, though. But they do add to the score because they are more valuable assets, I guess, aren't they? They should be at least. Yeah, it's almost impossible to see. I'm sure that was a problem that also presented a hazard to the real helicopter pilots. Wow, I'd be amazed I actually hit that. Okay. I can't use these in any video, we only have a couple of them, you know, so I guess I guess I have to look at his direction. So, okay. Yeah, it cannot be helped, I can it do. There you go. And then we twitch and this thing goes off target. Great. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> wow. At least we didn't destroy our helicopter for a change. Okay, so we took care of some friends around here. And it gives us 11, of course. Okay, some sides, but then we fly really low. And then we can't hit anything, but they also can't hit us, presumably. At least I would assume so. So, three massive installations in the area. Three massive installations in the area, but isn't that lovely? Well, I cannot see anything. <laughs> It's like literally impossible to see anything. Okay, maybe the Hogan will be up to task. Yeah, okay, thankfully it was. Okay, something else over here times two. One essential and one non essential. Okay, hier eh, ein bisschen Lounge steht da, so probably ist one of those installations, but uh Äh, uh, Vidi, that's just bullshit game design. There's no way this could happen. Okay, well, uh, no, we didn't silence it, presumably. Something is still operational. Oh, this fucking thing is still operational. Take it out. Is it <laughs> I don't have the ammo to waste here. There we go. Fantastic. Okay, so one of many, presumably. One of many, I would figure. Uh, yes, speaking of which. I can't see anything. I literally cannot see a goddamn fucking thing. <laughs> oh, yeah, there we go. Fantastic. Well, isn't that a light? Was only one helicopter because why would he need more than that? Target source 28 now. <laughs> okay, this is our aircraft leaving the area, but then you can crash into the rain. And of course, light tanks, I heard that. Fantastic. So, that, let me guess, it wasn't even fully destroyed. Of course, it wasn't, right? Not even closed, right? Let's see something burning, but that's about it, frankly. Mr. 
maybe, maybe shoot down these... Okay, not right. So, did we destroy the fucking Sam Launch already? So, the most accurate thing we've ever seen. But then again, uh, flying circles around the Sam side is usually an idea for this precise reason. So, that is was unavoidable, frankly, right? Okay, great, great, great. The Thai Air is absolutely still crawling with VC. We haven't made any progress once ever, of course. There we go. I'm not going to ruin it is because I cannot see. And we don't have enough flares to actually make things visible because it's good game design. And 30, 30%, not even 38, is 30%. And there we go with a resupply point at least. Of course, also under enemy attack as we speak. Great. But that's dig. That's great. No, it's not because it's under attack right now as we speak. But here's somewhere. But then I can't see anything, of course. Maybe we can get some more flares out of the deal. What's the problem? What are you doing there, you idiot? <laughs> this wasn't me doing this because I took close the map edge again. Okay, so finally I had a disturbance we wanted to take out so badly. Um, ah, the type of mission is that anyway. Oh, okay. There we go. Please land here or try to and then we see if we can... What? What? Oh, you... Oh, this work I've done already. Why? Because we are getting any real supply here or repair for that matter. Yeah, so there we go. Flares are still 35 and we took tons of damage bumping into whatever was on the ground. Fantastic, lovely. Of course, no mid uh, mission saves. Cannot see anything. Airstrikes are useless. Don't get any flares. We only get ammo. And now we have some napalm. I guess. Makes our helicopter even slower. Okay, well, um, then we try to take care of the remaining installations and the other. Uh, uh, whatever. But there's Sam sites everywhere. There's Sam sites everywhere. Sam sites are everywhere. Keep a low profile and try to. Even though I cannot see a goddamn fucking thing. Can't see anything as a matter of fact. Nothing. So, what gives I guess? <laughs> we are even slow. We also have any damage now. Not of the, uh, of course, of the enemies, of course. I'm not sure we uh, destroyed anything of additional value, but as you can see, the area is still absolutely marked in yellow everywhere. So, what is that? Yes. I can hear it, I can hear it, but I cannot see it. So, I think all the missiles less rockets that make the same sound in this game. Okay, taking tons of damage, there's tons of fire, and we have 39% of the target score. Good, good, good. Ja, yeah, no pressure hier weit. At least uh, the earlier missions we did have some support if we clear out the entire map, but of course they don't give us this any longer. That's always a delight. Okay, so it's still two massive encampments to worry about. <laughs> the light tanks, of course. I cannot, I cannot even see these fucking light tanks. How they are so good and accurate, I don't know. Yeah, this is the mission where I will complain a whole lot because it's fucking bullshit. Nothing short of bullshit. Yeah, this is just a bullshit mission. It's way too lengthy, and of course we only have one helicopter, no support whatsoever. <laughs> you should take out a massive number of enemies. Oh, is that sensible? I have to ask that question. They can see us very easily, and yet we can't see anything in return. They don't have a radar on this stuff, can they do? No, of course they don't. Man, okay, uh, fantastic. Doesn't seem to be some side in this area, at least, which is something. Oh, I spoke too soon. I hear it, I think. Could just be concentrated. RPG 2 fire or whatever. I'm not sure. But even 50% of the target score on our aircraft is absolutely trashed. Okay, cannot do it. Not even 50% orbited here, then even achieve 50% and our aircraft uh, keeps uh, getting blasted, so it handles uh, more poorly than before. That's also good. Okay, so um, we have some napalm, we can maybe strip that village, but of course we know. There's like tons of sand sites everywhere. You guys uh, holding on there? Maybe? Okay, so I can't see anything, I can't hit anything. <laughs> we have uh, 32 flares remaining. 
and there's lightings everywhere here in the vicinity. Also, man, there's a bit of critical objectives. So, and it's all on rookie difficulty. Rookie difficulty as a reminder. So, it gets here. <laughs> there's just no way. I can't even see anything. How is there so much fire incoming? I think the eye may not actually adhere to any visibility problems, right? I don't think they do. It's unlikely. I think that just uh, magically can target me uh, at every single occasion. No exceptions. So, oh, great. Uh, fantastic. I can't also weave as much as I want. That's not going to happen here. So I have to memorize all these damn side locations. Then again, they only add a little bit to the difficulty. A little bit, but still kind of substantial. But all the counts are there. Can fire how quickly exactly? Probably one missile every five seconds, I would think, by looks of it. Yeah, it looks the part. Okay, so we have target score of... 50 is something. Okay. Crash into the rain. Thank you very much. 59%. Fantastic. And we have expanded all of our airstrikes. And of course, they didn't do anything. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we have helicopter with 20 health now. I mean. Of course, they also have unlimited ammo. That's a good thing. Um, hello there. This is finally down. Let me guess it's not down. <laughs> No, of course I still here. I just cannot see it because it's too fucking dark. <laughs> there we go. No, it's <laughs> uh, there's no like, explosive stuff in there. It's a binder. And if they have unlimited ammo, they have unlimited some missiles just laying next to the launcher. Okay, so we have 59. So they didn't... Oh, of course they didn't take it out. 5, 6 grenades, what is it better, man? It doesn't make a difference, of course. So, let me guess it's all the respite we can get off the deal back here. Of course we do. Well, then, that's what I expected, frankly. <laughs> it's, a, it's an impossible mission, essentially, of our current scenario. There's just no way, I'm sorry. <laughs> no way. No way. <laughs> okay. Ah, uh, we do have some lame point remaining. Wait, this will be good enough. I don't think so. We can dodge and weave, dodge and weave as much as we want. That's not going to make any difference whatsoever. Oh, difference whatsoever. Nope, oh, helicopter is almost completely gone. And we added, what, 2%, I think? 2%? It's all target score. <laughs> Yeah, there's just no way. No way, no way. I declare this mission impossible. Uh, this is our current scenario. So, okay, anything else you can blast? Anything that isn't too heavily defended? Well, this has been strafed already, incidentally, but it's not good enough because why would it be? Yeah, I have no optimism for this mission here. They give us a helicopter with slightly better ammo capacity and also slightly better armor. But it's a very large target, it doesn't actually move that well. Well, maybe we can still do it, but I really sincerely doubt that. Just too much shit everywhere. We have 75 targets. <laughs> okay, at least the big uh, yellow dot on the minimap is gone now. Of course, no repairs. Why would we have some repairs? And uh, never mind the fact that we still have to deal with these light tanks everywhere. So, okay, um, okay, then we try to pick up some targets. Assuming there aren't light tanks, of course. What's then? Well, speaking of it, it's a fucking light tank. Case in point. So, where is it? Where is it? Back here. Okay. No, it's still, of course, it's still operational. It's still fucking operational. Yeah, okay. Stick, no, it's something else. The blasting, but I cannot see it, but this, I guess. Can we maybe hit that? No, gonna. Thank you very much. Okay, 76%, and there is something else firing now. <laughs> At least not every single mission is super difficult across the entire chapter. I think they uh, throw a bone or two along the way, which is nice of them. I cannot get the lock on. Okay, down here, Vidi. Really? 
Okay, only took a couple of shots, I think I take it. So 78%, our helicopter is uh, not the whole lot of health. Okay, uh, we can try the napalm angle again, but I think it will be super effective, frankly. <laughs> Ah, that was an AA gun, not a tank, thank for the I tank, I didn't see that, but didn't I? Okay, not more napalm for you, friends. And it gives us a target score of uh, 89, I think. So maybe we can still do it, maybe we can still do it, but it's a big maybe though. Okay, we are still have some napalm remaining, which is good. Okay, no, 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 I don't like the sound of that. Get out of here, please. Slowly. Very slowly. Okay, so it's uh, 89% and the bond 90, I suppose. Okay, as soon as we have that 1%, we are out of here. Let's just find us some easy targets. I don't think there will be many easy targets remaining, but we need to take care of at least uh, the yellow ones, right? And something is moving, which means it's probably a light tank, I would figure. Okay, so if it's only one, we can maybe avoid it. Maybe it's a big maybe though. Okay, not an easy mission by all accounts, friends. Not an easy mission. And of course, it's also potentially unstable. <laughs> since it involves night fighting. Yeah, there's still the remaining in this area. But these people are moving. Somewhere. I have a visual right now, incidentally, friend. Oh, he turns. Do I my fire? Come there in. we go. Firebird yeah, firebird out and we are out of here. Indeed, we are my friends. Okay, so... <laughs> fantastic. We need a new helicopter, sir. Yeah, that was, that was, that was very difficult. I can already tell. And that was the last mission in this campaign, incidentally. Uh, we did get another campaign battle. So we added to our chest, you know. Alright, so what was the... Of course not even half. Of course it wasn't. Oh, that's nice. Not quite all of them because it was impossible, sir. Now, evidently they can call in unlimited uh, reinforcements at this point in time. Uh, courtesy of the Ho Chi Minh Trail and the never ending supply by uh, allied forces, at least friendly forces. And apparently we killed in dude some place. Well, I already restarted the mission, so that could not, not have been my responsibility, frankly. Okay, so, um, I guess I'm still filling up for a couple of missions, so we do exactly that. In the final chapter of the game. Everything's falling apart now. Charlie's pushing us back all the time, and most of our troops have gone. Unlike my buddies who are praying to be sent home, I'm gonna ride this all the way. But vital. It seems the only way to get it out of my system. Whether we win or lose, either way, we've got a bloody nose. To the bitter end there, I see, sir. Okay, I'm not going to buy. Apparently, we're not welcome home. Okay, so it's the fault of Saigon then, assumedly. Close to it. John, we're clearing out. And there's some loose ends to tie up. I believe you know Wallace from the agency. I promised him our full cooperation. We've got to pull a high priority. There's a bunch of high-ranking POWs require busting from a camp in Cambodia. And believe me, buddy, this place makes a Hanoi Hilton look like luxury. Our problem? We have no definite location coordinates. But believe it to be in this area. While you're flying, use your navigation map, John. Don't worry, buddy. You'll know you're in the right place when you come under fire. We want the joint totaled. So before extraction, destroy supply roads to the camp. Then move on in to take out the camp and any resistance. Only when the area is secure, land and pick up your passengers. Got it? Yeah, yeah. And don't talk to the press, right, buddy? Why are we always so sarcastically smiling? I hope I'm getting paid for these operations that don't officially exist. Hazard pay, maybe. But it doesn't show up in our record, of course. Alright, so. 
Okay, let's just take a look at the mission objectives. And once again, they give us the crappiest aircraft in the entire game world. So that's lovely. <laughs> okay, uh, POW camp, yes, I got that. Be careful not to shoot the POW hearts. So we need to watch our fire when the entire air is absolutely crawling with people. Of course, it will be. Reach the reward to alert uh, these guys to our presence. Okay. Oh man. That's not going to be an easy one. Nope. And of course it will be at night, so I cannot see anything, I would presume. Okay, first we destroy the supply route, then we isolate the camp, then we take out the triple A's, I think. But as some of the uh, mission parameters uh, were mentioned in the dialogue, they don't show up here for that reason. Now, yeah. uh, if it's so important, they probably have some sam sites there, right? Not just the triple A's. I know that would imply that it's artillery. No support, of course, since the entire operation doesn't happen. Now we can read the uh, description again if we need to. I think it's the end key. Give us the briefing again if we need it. Creature one, this is Firebird one. Do you copy? Roger that, Firebird one. Over. We've just passed the Cambodian border. Jolly Greens have dropped back. Waiting a clear passage over. Oh, this is a night mission. Copy that. We need to see these boys home, Captain. So don't screw up now. Out. Uh. <laughs> um. So, uh, okay. What? What? What the, the actual? What? <laughs> uh. Okay, so, uh, as a man, I cannot see anything. I need to take out the triple A's as well. Uh, which I cannot see. And someone already shot me. I was just staring at the map and it's complete disbelief by the way, because wondering. So, okay. Um, we have uh, six, <laughs> we have six rockets. Fantastic. Uh, while so we are gonna take care of most of the disturbances around here. Okay, we fly low. Uh, okay, fantastic. Um, right, then we get going and see what we can do. I can see anything anyway. Where's actually the POW camp in the concentrated portion in the middle? There's some place on this little peninsula or bend in the river. Could be. I have no idea, frankly. Probably need to restart this mission a couple of times already. It's not exactly triple A's though, is it though? Right? But I can call in some reinforcements from back here. But then again, grenades, as we know, are they are completely, uh, utterly useless. They are just a joke. Come back, are Nothing else. Yeah, this is all pointless, isn't it though? Let's come to think of it. It's all completely pointless because we're not talking about triple A's back here. So, well, uh, that's fun and all, uh, taking care of that camp, but as you can see, we're failing with that miserably for starters, because all of our grenades are absolutely joking. <laughs> yeah, okay, I'm done with that. We have grenades, have all the grenades. How many fucking grenades does it take to destroy some wooden structures? Direct hit on structures and only one is burning. <laughs> I just want to see how many fucking grenades it takes. Oh, actually, there is some triple A in the area. Of course, um, good, good, good. So, coming over here is maybe not optional after all, but then again, but that's a better. <laughs> Cannot take on anything without more equipment because everything else is absolutely pathetic. And I'm including the helicopter on that list. Okay, and Charlie is waiting uh, for us to give him the signal to pick up the uh, POWs, of course, but that's, that would take some time here, friends. We have to make our way across the entire valley here, under constant fire everywhere. These triple A's we cannot see. Uh, 
Okay, I, I'm not gonna say I can't take this seriously right now. Of the what's happened, the other couple of missions. Okay, of course, also some vehicles are coming, and the camp has been thoroughly trashed now. This is something. Okay, but of course, the camp really support this ammo wise. That's also a thing we need to consider. I don't think they would station uh, by battle tanks at the POW camp, but we have seen stranger things here. Yeah, something is moving, but I have no idea. Could be a light tank, incidentally. <laughs> what is that? What are we looking at? I have no idea. But we briefly had to look on. Oh, uh, uh, here in battle sounds. So it's probably... Yeah, there we go. Fantastic. I think it's down. That's good. Okay, so we have get out... Um, 10% of the map, but I have no idea where the POW camp is. Okay, it's marked in big red dots, so maybe we have to take out these particular installations. Ah, no, um, in this case it should be marked as uh, yellow and not red, right, I think. Okay, it's all across the river, but is that? Do we have no idea. Let's just try to bypass some opposition because the helicopter for one can't take any damage. And we only have a limited supply of ammo because we can't store much ammo in here. Yeah, oh, good idea. And we have to destroy the back wall of the POW camp, but not until we took care of all the triple A's in the area. I think this is a bit the set. Ah, it's something we said in our mission briefing and in dialogue. And these are maybe distinct things. Adding to the confusion. Fantastic. Well, I can't see anything, so I guess I guess. What are we shooting at? No idea. Is it triple A for that matter? Direct hit, no damage, of course. If I was right here. <laughs> I heard it, but I can't see it, so. Hopefully, I don't have that many here. Oh, there it is. Okay, I did see it now. Uh, I already paired the entire air with grenades, but once again, didn't make any difference whatsoever. Of course, it didn't. Oh, direct hit, but we didn't go down. That's at least something. But I cannot see these triple A's. So I guess I get... Man, I parted the entire air with grenades already. Once again, didn't make any difference whatsoever. It's, it's a matter of fact, it's operational, I think. I think it is, right? The helicopter's not in good shape. And it's, it's still marked on the minimap. So the Sam's launcher is still intact, presumably. <laughs> yeah, no kidding, sir. Send us in with a crappy helicopter, no support. What do you expect here, VD? Okay, well, machine gun fire better than our grenades. It's sad, but it is the truth. Nope, still intact, or something is still intact because it's still marked as essential on the map, of course. <laughs> And we're running low on M already, it's also a problem. I'm sure what we are blasting, but hopefully it's mission critical. Yeah, not an easy game, no easy missions, and of course the entire chapter, and also the last chapter has been mostly about working with the CIA. So all of this didn't happen, and uh, the danger level has increased uh, tenfold, maybe not quite, but certainly pretty difficult here already by all accounts. And we're drifting off into the river valley, which means we are engaging targets that aren't technically necessary right now. <laughs> and if I'm behind the fact that we can't see anything. This is a dog and I'm once again gets the book out. Yeah, but still marked on the map, so what else can it possibly be in the bottom air and it needs to be blasted? <laughs> you there here? Well, this is technically an uh, anti-aircraft installation, so it will be too difficult, because why we need to get the transport in here. What else is there in the area, man? <laughs> I'm not even quite sure what these uh, POW uh, huts look like, no idea. We're taking so much damage, we're almost shut down, as a matter of fact. And this still is not being taken out. <laughs> what? How is that sensible there? Well, of course, they don't give us helicopters actually armored, you know. So, that's what I meant. We can already uh, retry this mission yet again. <laughs> what keeps blasting us? The just overwhelming uh, volume of fire by the enemy is? I just cannot see anything. Even if I use my fucking flares, these are just useless. Those are our fucking grenade launcher back here. Yeah, 
bei Top Fan Arcade Mode, I'm sorry. Not in the first attempt, that seems completely unlikely. So, well, since operation never happened, so if we die here, we ultimately care. So, we have other pawns to play the fight. And as you can see, all of our fire is completely ineffective. That's the second installation, and just keeps going. <laughs> what are you doing, Captain? Our boys were in there! <sighs> Damn it. Ah, and then I accidentally hit the POW heart because it looks exactly the same as the enemy hearts. Um, with only concentrated firepower everywhere directed at me. So, <laughs> I didn't even kill any US friends. Um, yeah, so okay. Uh, what else am I supposed to do here? <laughs> Extreme is near, then the volume of fire alone is way too much damage for a helicopter. Never mind the ammo constraints. And I can't see anything, but they can always see me. No exceptions, they can always see me. Um, okay. We've just passed the Cambodian border. Jolly Greens have dropped back. We're waiting a clear passage over. Copy that. I'm just. I'm not annoyed. Maybe a slight bit, but I'm mostly. confused, really. I'm totally confused. And of course, there's no mid mission save, so if you don't succeed in one swoop here with all three objectives. Uh, then I'm not quite sure what we could be doing. I'm not quite sure what the POW hat looks like. I have no idea, frankly, because uh, I mean, it was also marked in Ratty Notes. Also, I think there are no friendly markers on the minimap, so what am I supposed to do here? Are these POW huts? Do we take out the opposition? Uh, the seven sides only? That doesn't work too wide. We have to identify these at a glance to take them out with what exactly? Do they have some armor in the area? Because, uh, our grenades are useless. Okay, we have 120 of those. The machine gun is slightly more useful. Um, okay, well, we need to identify the seven side as soon as possible and blast it, but I can't see anything. So, what can I say? Yes. What is the POW camp? What is. Uh, I'm not sure, but this evidently is a launcher. Okay, and then what? Uh, what? What? No way! Okay, that's just bullshit game mechanics. Uh, that's not realistic in the slightest. I shouldn't even be able to target the helicopter, of course. So, okay, uh, for this thing, we took all the same launcher now. What? I have no idea. I mean, that's not the only anti-aircraft installation in the area, is it though? That's the thing as well. There is no direct heavy actually destroyed something. It's a miracle. Um, yeah, but, uh, are we looking at back here what's the POW hard? What does it look like? I have no idea. I know what the Lugato is, though, certainly. Oh, actually knocked it over. Wow. <laughs> Finally. There should be the mark these objectives a little bit more clearly sometimes. Okay, um, so this is the rest. We assume it's POW uh, huts, I believe. Yes? Maybe I was just approaching the mission in a uh, wrong fashion, could also be. Okay, these are marked as hostile, but yeah, that's not so. I meant they are marked as hostile. That's the problem, though. Okay, and we need to knock down a back wall someplace. I don't see a back wall back here, so I guess I guess. Alright, what would be nice right now is uh, the uh, option to save the game instantly. At least we silence the opposition, which is something. Alright, so maybe I approach the mission in a wrong fashion could be, but then again we're talking about seven launchers and we took out one of them. Also there will be three of them in the air and never mind all this other bullshit we see. Yeah, no hand holding in these earlier titles. I can only apologize if I struggle a little bit, but sometimes what they mentioned dialogue doesn't line up with what we see on screen. And the POW has the unmarked in a separate way, so how am I supposed to know? I mean, usually, yeah, I think about it. And every other mission we played up to this point, the VC huts, they were just crawling with VC. They were either hostile or they were civilian. Nothing in between. So, okay. Drifting into other defenses that are not part of the camp, of course. But suppose they're still not optional. If you can hit them, that would be slow. Then again, I can't see them, so I guess I guess. <laughs> but flying straight through the heart of the enemy opposition is hardly a good idea. Even though we didn't take any damage up to this point. 
But there's certainly have been a lot of the oppressors, haven't they? I think it's kind of uh, fair to say. I know there's a sand launch on the area, but I cannot see it. I think I see it. Okay, I think we may have blasted it. Maybe, it's big, maybe door. Do we have to destroy all the single red dots on the entire map that could be required of us? I'm not sure. They said all opposition, right, didn't they? Yeah, I think they said all opposition. I'm not quite sure it's possible. Must be prison guards, we're blasting, I'm hoping. Okay, so about, I need to watch my file here, evidently. So what else? Ah, we don't have that was something hostile. This thing there, okay. Could be a sem launch, hopefully it has been... Nope, of course not. Oh, now it is down, I think. Okay, so anything else? Ah, we just uh, go for stuff that actually shoots it out, I suppose. Maybe, try to. Okay, another guard tower, of course. We have to keep this thing level, otherwise we hit the hearts accidentally. We can't have that, of course. And of course, the dog gonna also wants to shoot set huts because there's no marked as enemy targets and not about uh, POW huts. That's uh, adding to the confusion, also to the difficulty of this mission, but it's thoroughly artificial. Oh man, look at it. How? I need to keep this fucking thing steady to aim at the guard towers. Yeah, uh, it's another mission fake over the town. Of course, no mid uh, mission saves. <gasps> oh no. Oh, I'm, about, I'm not going sure I can keep bashing bad against this mission, because if we don't succeed this time around, I mean, what does it take? Cannot see anything, so that's also a problem. Our helicopter is now officially smoking, but not smoking hot, not in a good way. Not like those ladies, depending on your preferences, of course. Oh, there was still one guard tower intact here someplace, and someone's shooting at me. There's no support, no resupply, and the AA installations have also become more dangerous. I'm not referring to the guided variety, of course. Okay, anything else bursting here still? Yeah, you are right. And someone else is just shooting. <laughs> well, it's too dangerous to open fire. We don't have 100% entire information. Okay, what is that? No idea. Hopefully it's down now. Oh, I didn't even get the guard house, did I do? I didn't, of course. Yeah, this will end the mission failure again, I can already tell. And that's the second of three camps, and even though we're not done with this thing here anyway. And Jolly is still waiting for us to do what exactly? Take out every single red dot on the entire minimap, really? Is that uh, what they expect us to do? Because at the moment everyone is still locked up tight, aren't they? I think they are. So, okay, um, the other camp will be just heavily defended. We haven't even figured out the pattern for this one anyway. Who is still blasting? I cannot see it. It's like... Who is fucking blasting still? <laughs> running out of patience, the game doesn't provide you with the controls to have this sort of finesse. Yeah, as you can see, I don't even take out any targets I need to take out. Ah, okay, I'm done with this. Let's just head over here to the third camp, which is of course in the middle of the fucking area. So while the fucking transplant helicopter can do whatever it pleases. I'm getting pretty tired of this. 
Ob Stoßwerf, Mission Objectives, äh, fucking Bullshit Mechanics hier, die hat es noch wie Markt erst. Ja, nur was erwähnen, dass der uns mag das Hostile entwerfen. So many fucking Friends in die Ära Helikopter ist, drei Schilder, dann auf Ammo, wieder dann die Aber. Das ist nur Resupply, no uh, Support whatsoever. <lacht> okay, and dann of course die Missions aus super difficult und aus super lengthy. That's obviously the night. Und Stealth of Helikopter, aber das not work. Maybe we destroyed it, maybe it's big, maybe do. But it's still falling us, of course. Okay, crash into terrain, but so do I here on both. Okay, we're flying right into more enter air installation studio. We expect us to take out all of these extremely methodically, because that's not going to happen. Because if I cannot see anything, but well, Odokan is can apparently see it. They must be sharing the same traits with the item pro. <laughs> They said about something looking on the back wall, but I'm not quite sure what they're talking about because the only thing I can see right now is my vehicle smoking and burning. That's some. Yeah, somebody's shooting, but it's too dangerous to open fire to back there, so. <laughs> okay, we're flying straight into more inter air installations. I also can see my helicopter in relation to the crown, which also adds to the confusion, of course. Oh, what, 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 what? Is it fucking thing? Here, yeah, why? Right. Okay, uh, they have an unlimited number of these missiles, then presumably. Okay, take it out, take this fucking thing out, take it out, take it out, take it out, no, 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 dodge the beef, dodge the beef, dodge the beef. And there we go, almost completely destroyed. So, yeah, this mission is, like, impossible. Also, uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> what? What? Um. Yeah, we didn't expect us to take on. Uh, what? How? So we're going after the target score 98%. 98%. So they expect us to take out every single single red dot in the entirety of the valley. Every single little bit. Never mind the fact that we have to take care of the uh, prison camps and we have to watch our fire, destroy every single guard tower, all this bullshit all at the same time with no ammo, no resupply and a crappy helicopter and also most like a slug. Really? We've just passed the Cambodian border, Jolly Green what? has dropped back. We're waiting a clear passage over. Copy that. There's no clear passage, I think it's just drunk, probably also high on coke like the other guy. Uh, uh, okay, as a reminder, every third one of those dots is actually a uh, missile launcher, you know? I think. <laughs> Probably, I would figure at least. Once again, uh, we can't see anything, so. <laughs> I mean, what? Because the rain would be super heavy around here, yeah, that would be the reason, I think. Ja, yeah, I can already clear this mission impossible. Can't see anything. <laughs> Cannot hit anyone back here. And we already took 10% damage and wasted uh, hundreds of rounds. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm actually shooting at. Let me guess Jolly wants to have every single VC installation destroyed, so that must be the reason for the target score then. I think I shot from multiple angles at the same time. <laughs> also I didn't see helipad because we are uh, officially, well, this doesn't happen of course, so no official reason support as well. Nothing as a matter of fact. Okay, once again, um, 
Jetzt ist super denkt, wir müssen jetzt, wir cannot save. So, eben if we succeed with one objective, they get the other two attempts. I have no idea where that fucking thing is. It's over here someplace, of course, but it's not shooting. We just said something about the back wall. I have no idea what the back wall looks like. Okay, there we go. Or at least sometimes they do give away the position. But I think some patrols in the jungle is hardly that necessary, is it though? I cannot possibly see how this will add to our mission objectives. But then again, what else can we do? I'm not sure what that stupid uh, helicopter will do anyway. Because we have to escort it out of here as well, don't we? I think we need to do this as well, incidentally. It's just come to think of it. I'm getting tired of this here. Can you please destroy these things? They're evidently some launches, aren't they? They are not firing right now, which is strange. Ah, never mind. Too late, and it takes. Uh, sure, 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 sure. It would take, of course, this amount of machine gun fire to take out an uh, missile launcher. Cannot stay here, cannot stay. Dodge and leave, dodge and leave, dodge and leave, dodge and leave. Get out of here, get out of here, get out of here. We should knock out the radar installation at first, I suppose. But of course, not a thing in this game, I would think. Okay, there we go. Shoot this fucking launcher. Come on, come on, come on. So, really, it takes 300 rounds to take out a single missile launcher. That's always good. Cannot be a detail focus of our aggression because there are too many friends in the area, too many friends in the area. We cleared out maybe two sub installations at most, I think. Something like this. It's a big maybe door. Oh, <laughs> I'm just follow the river and take care of things as we see them, maybe. Oh, there's a bridge, right? Okay, but it's not super important. I would figure, even though it said something about resupply uh, rules we should be destroying. Of course, you also have to worry about animal conservation if we do things like this, if it's even the correct way to do it. So, something I'm also completely unaware of. <laughs> yeah, okay, we have some trucks in the area going to the other POW camp, I believe. But so far, we didn't even do anything but fire a fake here. <laughs> Yeah, may as well just do that, I suppose. Okay, so I cleared out maybe like 10% of the map. And... <laughs> that cannot be the correct way to do this, but we tried any other approach and neither of these things did work. So, I'm at the loss here already. There's no work for my chance. Because contradicting mission objectives uh, to guarantee dialogue delivered in the cutscene. So... <laughs> and this is the first mission of the final chapter, I believe, as well. Um, what can possibly be so... Oh, Why is it so important? Ugh, whatever. Whatever. If it's necessary to do, I'm not quite sure, frankly. Okay, um... Yeah, they said something about the resupply points. I did see that. But it's not mentioned in the mission log anyways, but I guess. Okay, then we take out more some installations along the river here someplace. At least try to. I mean, I don't hate the game, but I maybe not appreciate this mission here fully. Okay, there are some civilian huts apparently here as well, but I cannot see anything for starters. We only have 40 flares remaining. We're running too low on ammo, cannot make it happen. So need to use some grenades for this. Yeah, this is just some RPG gunners, I think. They're running around like crazy. Ja, 
These are not too dangerous in and in of themselves and apparently we didn't even take care of the convoy. How is that possible? I think that's jolly. I think that's jolly one on the map here, isn't it? Okay, but uh, we, <laughs> we cannot provide that much of an assistance, incidentally. No, you're flying directly into the AA installations now, aren't you? I think you are. And it just wait for me. Yeah, okay. <laughs> it's also dark right on the minimap, I believe, so it's even harder to see. The area is certainly not clear, sir. So you we'll probably wait for us here, I suppose. Wow. So it's orienting as well. <laughs> Well, no one seems to be shooting at the other helicopter if it's in the air. So I cannot see it, frankly. But it's all over. Oh no, you cannot be serious with this. Why are these POW camps marked? Uh, there wasn't even a hut, right? There was something in the wilderness that accidentally shot. How is that possible? 100% VD. Why are there marked as enemy targets? Why? <laughs> Why do you not mark the fucking SEM launches on the minimal property? Why? <laughs> Man, this is a horribly designed mission. Absolutely horribly designed mission all around. So we have to pave the value to these uh, POW camps, I get that. Or these, these huts, but I cannot identify the huts readily. But apparently that was one of them. Good, fantastic. So we tried this for the fourth time, I believe. And if you cannot succeed this time around, I will just... I'm not going to grind off screen again. Apparently I have to. <laughs> oh man, this is uh, goddamn horrendous, frankly. The back door, the back wall, okay. So ignore the camps, even though... Um, uh, whatever. <laughs> Maybe I missed something very obvious in the mission briefing, but I don't think I did. Oh, shut your fucking trap, you idiot. Oh, there we go, friends. That's finally the, the mission debriefing screen, but getting here requires some sheet codes. The game developers were kind enough to put in the game, unlike Road Rash, for instance. And I will tell you why exactly, because despite my best efforts off screen, it proved to be completely impossible. Because the friendly helicopter hanging out at the border doesn't wait for my okay. It just assumes that the path is okay after I took out a couple of them launchers and then moves forward uh, under its own, well, uh, will essentially, which means I have to provide escort. And this is impossible because the friendly helicopter takes a path through these his stiffest opposition, of course it would. And yes, the POW camps is indeed what we were looking at, so it's also heavily defended all around. And the inside infector is taking out some SEM launchers, and they are scattered across the entire valley, of course, as we have seen on multiple occasions. That means I don't have the ammo, I don't have the armor, the other helicopter doesn't have the armor, the other helicopter also doesn't have the smarts, so what am I supposed to do here? I don't have any support, there's no resupply, I cannot get my helicopter repaired, and even if I fly through the entire valley, I take out everything but the SEM launchers to the best of my abilities, I cannot do it, because I cannot absorb that much damage. And even if I give myself shield codes to make my own helicopter invulnerable, it doesn't apply to the friendly helicopter, so it gets shot down all the time, because I cannot take out the opposition quickly enough, and you see the problem wide, and also I cannot see anything. And furthermore, it's not a free fire zone, and once I accidentally hit some huts, well, it's also game over, incidentally. So, that's uh, all the things in one mission, you know, in a terrible mission, it's the first one of the final chapter. But I'm tired of wasting my time with this particular well, mission indeed, because it took uh, one and a half hours both on screen and off screen, and frankly, we deserve uh, to move forward with uh, better things, don't we? So, then we continue here next episode and see what we can do in the rest of the chapter, but thankfully, the missions in this game, they aren't always that difficult. There are some uh, lighter uh, yeah, instances along the way, as we've seen in the other uh, missions here previously, but for now, I think I'm quite done with this game, so as usual, I think of watching, and I hope to see you next time.